that's passed in Arizona before, but then it was overturned by the legislature. So here we go again. Another group trying to legalize marijuana for medical use here in Arizona. There's a movement to get that issue back on our ballot. It's an issue that one Arizona family is very passionate about, too. Miriam Garcia spoke with them, and she joins us live, man. Troy, one Valley man is fighting to legalize medical marijuana after watching his younger brother die of cancer. My brother was 19 years old. He was a student at ASU when he was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Danny Orrit lost his battle with cancer when he was just 20 years old. His older brother Michael saw Danny waste away during chemotherapy, struggling with nausea and no appetite. I was the one with him while he bent over the toilet sometimes five, six times a day. Michael is certain marijuana could have alleviated some of Danny's symptoms. It's proven to relieve pain and nausea in cancer patients. Still, Michael was afraid to buy an illegal drug for his brother. We don't know what we're getting when we use street drugs, especially when you're dealing with a patient who's already fragile. A new initiative that could be on the ballot in 2010 would make marijuana available to seriously ill patients with the doctor's recommendation. The marijuana sold to dispensaries regulated by the state. This is not really about medicine. This is really a smoke screen in which they're trying to legalize marijuana. Former Maricopa County Attorney Rick Romley opposes the initiative. I don't support the idea that medicine should be decided what is good medicine at the ballot box. I think that medicines have to go through the medical review that we have in this country. Until you've witnessed your brother or your mother or your wife in such desperate need of something, don't talk to me about ulterior motives. There's one motive for this, and that is to help people who need help, period. And starting Monday, volunteers will blanket the valley collecting signatures in support of the initiative. They need to get 150,000 signatures by July 1st. I'm Miriam Garcia, Fox 10 News.